Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create the lavender stems as part of the lavender sewing kit. So as you can see I've got my background here and I've got my mount on the top and if I show you, just zoom in a little bit, you can see that I've started to draw some lines in here for the stems and what I'm doing now is just drawing on a few little leaves just to give the lavender a bit of sort of bulkiness if you like. You can do these however you want to, you don't need lots of them, just a few there. Right, okay, so what I've got in my sewing machine now is my 919 dark green thread from the kit. And I am just going to now show you how to stitch these stems. So I'm going to start at the top, go down and up and bring up my bobbin thread. And then just pop that down and give that a little pull just to make sure that that is in place. So what I'm going to do now is the stem, each stem only needs one line of stitching. Um, but obviously you need a little bit more for the actual um, leaves themselves. So we're going to start off going down here. And you just go up the leaves like this, just a little thin leaf. to do this one you can just jump across and then, don't worry if you don't keep exactly to the lines then there is a guide for you there we are now then I'm going to stop there just so that I can show you how to do the actual lavender flowers as well but you would go straight on and do all your stems and leaves in one go. So I'm just going to cut now. There. And there you can see you've got your stems with your leaves. So next we need to change over our thread and we're going to move on to the variegated purple thread which is this one which is the 4032 this is a cotton thread and the recommended needle for this is a 90 embroidery needle it's got a slightly bigger eye so what I've done is just put a 90 needle in for and using it for all of them which works absolutely fine I'm just threading this up which sometimes can be easier said than done. Nope, doesn't like it. Let's cut the end and have another go. There, much better. Okay, so we're going to start in this forward again. Mm -hmm going to start at the top of our stem so we will start up here let's go down and up like that bring that up to the top again let's tuck that underneath and then get that needle in place and make sure that's nice and tight okay and then we're going to do little tiny stitches little cross stitches they can be a bit smaller at the top and getting a bit wider as you come down and depending on the length of stem will depend how far you want to come down you'll be able to judge it yourself you may feel you want to just put a little marker where you want to stop 
um, but I find I can do it by eye. So we're going to start off now and just do some very tiny little cross stitches and then come down to the next piece gradually coming down as you can see with this lovely variegated thread you get that lovely change in the purple colour as you come on down so that's probably enough there then I'm going to jump over to this one and again start again with a very tiny little stitch here see there just going to cut these ends and there you can see you've got your lovely lavender flowers so if we put this over the top you can see how that is starting to take shape nicely so you will carry on and go all the way across all of your stems doing that. And then in the next video, I will show you how to add your grasses.